Okay, so we are right here, right across from the central station, and we're gonna go up to Adam Tower, which I've never been, where you can see all over Amsterdam. So it's gonna be like an incredible view. Let's go up. You want to uh, go on the screen? No, you have to. No, no, no. It's, it's out from the tower. You go in with me. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it alone. I'll go with you. Yeah, you better. Right, if I die, you die. You think I go down alone? Can you come in with me. I absolutely hate heights. It's like my worst nightmare. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it. I almost get scared of that one. Just by knowing it's green screen, you know, it could be potential heights. You think I'm doing that? <laughs> you guys are stupid. You guys are stupid. You actually think that I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, it's silly because it's just a swing, right? Nick, are you ready? Uh, I guess so. So, I feel a little bit silly. Screw you, Stein. Screw you. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. That's enough. Like it's it's like a silly like when you look at it, it looks silly, right? But it's absolutely terrifying. Like and like you feel like it just like it's not like a, a normal swing. Are you even paying attention to this? You can tell it's pushing you, right? So it feels like you're gonna take off. You know. Uh, you for the camera, man. Sure does. Need. We need to go. We need to go shopping. So many times I am so close to get hit by either a bicycle, a car, a running person. There's always something like it's so dangerous. Do you know the reason why the, all the buildings are tilting? Because I didn't know. So I was like, everybody's like, oh, it's the canals. It's yeah, like water, yeah, but it, it isn't. That. It's actually made because of the crane. If you see, you see the hook up there. Yeah. So there, you know, they, know, they use a crane up, and everything goes in. And in that way, they're tilting. Uh, underwear. I didn't bring enough underwear, okay? That, no shame. It's happened to anyone. But I just kind of tried to find like some nice t-shirt stuff. Mike Williams wants to go party with me and I can't wear it. Like I have like workout stuff with me. I have turned too sporty. I'm too sporty right now. That's the problem with me. Like I always like to switch up, do different styles. Like sometimes I dress more rocky. Sometimes, like right now, because of Corona, all I do is play golf and go to the gym. Uh, get this. Okay, so let's sit down, as I told them, let's sit and uh, have a nice little chat. Now we are in the middle of Amsterdam. We're actually gonna take a tour boat through all the canals, have a chat. We're gonna talk about, yeah, I don't know, everything. I think branding is really important because uh, it really divides you who you are as an artist. You know, and it's been too long where the EDM scene has ha, has been going by by the term of let the music speak for itself, which is correct in, in one way. But now it's such a big scene that if you look at the big artists, they all have a really strong branding. You know that that is, I think, that is one of the most difficult parts. It of is. Being an it artist. is. It is really it's difficult, that's why, that's why yeah, not everybody has it. But just because it's difficult doesn't mean you should not focus on it. How I, do you start like, your branding? I went purely on, based on what I love. And I love the rock and roll style, I love the 80s, I love that vibe, right? So whether or not I make rock music, if I would make the world's happiest song, I still like to look a little bit rock. I told my wife, I was like, I've always wanted to have a real logo, like almost like an emblem. But I don't want to have like some some artists. They have their name, and then they have a logo on the side. So they have two. I, have, like, I want together. it to be like one. Just one piece. And that's so hard. It's really hard to come up with, and for because it needs to be simple at the same time. And then she figured out that whole lip thing, and I was like, yeah, 
that's that's the thing. And I was like, let's put color on it. Because no one does color, right? Everything is white. But we should still make it so you are capable of making it white. You know? And then once we put the red, we were like, oh, that looks so rock and roll. And then I made a leather jacket with the roses. And I was like, okay, rose. And then the emoji. And then it just clicked, right? Even though it's so hard to come up with it, I would have never started. At least I started you know, thinking constantly what I wanted to do. A lot of artists, they don't even think about it. They, they go, okay, but you know, I'm a DJ. I put a black snapback. I do <laughs> the whole DJ black. thing. I do black. <laughs> and at least I look like a DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's fine. But everybody looks like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just have, so, you can make something simple by just wearing a different type of sunglasses. Or, you know, whatever. Just do something different, you know? And at least start there, and then you can develop it. And uh, a lot of times people are like, how do you get unique? And unique... It's so difficult. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, you know, every, every person on the planet is unique. There is no one in the world who's like you. There's no one in the world who's like me. So what is the best tool to be unique is to be yourself. Like you want to become a DJ, that doesn't mean you have to make EDM music. You can bring in like I, how I did with rock music. When I started to get really into Reveal, uh, we're talking maybe four or five years ago, and I already back then told them, I was like, can we change the color on the artwork? Can we, you know, just say- You want it to be different. Because that's just how I am, I'm a perfectionist, right? Cool, cool. And I felt, I remember I felt like, oh, am I being annoying now? Because I'm like a nobody asking them to like change the artwork, right? But just because I did it, they are like, okay, but he knows what he wants. Because yeah, yeah, the label good. is not going to think, oh, I he, actually appreciate that. Yeah, they're not going to think, oh, he's annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to think, wow, he this knows what he different. wants. Yeah. That's interesting, you know? It's very important that artists are not scared. Don't be scared of saying what you want or, or telling the label how you want it. The label has so many artists to think about, you know, when you have only yourself to think about. What do you think about, like, the you know, what people say about the big room? dying and the bubble nothing is ever dying it's always booty when i see or, or even worse when i see oh case is keeping progressive house alive i'm not, no one is keeping anything alive no one is, is killing, killing anything something. because the thing is music is always going to be alive let's say rock music is not what it used to be in the 80s but if metallica will come and make the biggest rock song right now they will be back, right? That, that song will be a hit. Everything comes and goes and comes and goes. It's just more a matter of like, how many people are doing it, you know? Then people get afraid, oh, but okay, not enough people are doing a big room right now, so I'm not gonna do it. Well, maybe that's a perfect opportunity for you to do it. And then even more important, just freaking do what you love to do. You know, success comes with passion. Like, you need passion if you wanna be really successful. Like, you know? <laughs> you can just walk, and all of a sudden you, you smell cannabis. Like, and like for me, I'm like, where's the cops? You know, but it's like, it's like normal, it's weird. So guys, that was the first vlog we revealed. Uh, I had a great time. We were all around Amsterdam. I hope you guys learned something about me that you didn't know. And um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon.